Here's to John again. Just satellite dish today. Or you could put an aerial, but we're naming a satellite dish. So I'm going to mount this up on the wall up here beside the chimney. We'll resin it in. We'll drill the holes and we'll resin it with resin. And then the bolts will stick out. Put this um, carrier on and then satellite dish on the top of that. Then we'll adjust the dish. We know that it points east. We just don't know what direction it points yet. Uh, I've got to go and read a book for that. And when I find that out, I'll be able to adjust it with the scale that's on the satellite dish itself. It's got a, an angle. We'll put it to the best angle we can get, point it in the near enough direction, and a lot of adjustment, and we're done. Okay, so, so you, you're going to resin the bolts in. Yeah. And you've got your ladders ready. And so to spread your weight on the roof, you have put some sheets of ply, which are going to not only spread the, the weight of you, but stop you hopefully slipping off the roof. Allegedly. Allegedly. Obviously, I have to stop the video about here, folks, because if we end up having Mr... T at the hospital. I don't think we really need to be sharing this video with at anyone. Hospital again? Not again, no. Hey, yeah, John here, nice and warm up on the roof. Satellite bracket up and dishes up. Just got to get the cable up to it now. Do a final alignment on it, or a rough alignment, and then we can tune it in. Just deli delicately removing things. And that'll be it. Satellite dish up. Job done. Hi right guys, here's the update of our satellite installation to pick up Sky. Um, I've got my sat finder, which is good. All the LEDs light up, you get a nice tone once you're on the satellite. It just wasn't in the right satellite. There's loads of them up there. And unless you can pinpoint what satellite you're wanting, you really are on a sticky wicket. Uh, so I had to bite the bullet, phone a professional, we came with his box, similar to mine. The only difference is, he can read what satellite he's pointing at. And I spent a morning, and another morning, two mornings I've spent, trying to pinpoint the correct satellite. They're so, they're quite close together. Um, the satellite dish is good. It gives you a lot of degrees on it, where at the angles you should be pointing at. I've also got Sat Finder as an app. It tells me it's 144 degrees. So I'm 144 degrees that way. I'm 29.2 elevation from where I am. But I was only finding an Astra satellite, but not the right one. And this guy arrived with his little box. It's called Matt. Matt, the mad sat man. Came with his box up the ladder. Two minutes and he's, he's, pin, he's pinpointed the satellite. And I took two mornings to try and get it. So if you're in doubt, phone Matt, the sat man. He'll come and set your satellite dish up. It's brilliant. And we've got Sky TV, everything, no problem now. He's checked my other dish for the main house as well. And he's just realigned that a little bit. You just can't do it with a box like that. It's going to tell you, beep, 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 I'm on the right satellite. But there's dozens of them out there. So it's unless you've got... An expensive box and it's your job. I mean this is a guy's job. This is what he does. He's got a 500 pound box that tells him it just reads off the satellite he's pointing at. And he was up there two minutes and this sorted it all. No problem at all. So if you're in doubt just get him out. 